I've drastically changed the way that I do my daily notes. I've been doing daily notes consistently for probably going on around three years now, all of which has been in Obsidian, but my daily notes have changed several times over that time frame, and the way I'm doing things now is radically different from when I first started. So why the change, you might ask? Well, I was running into a couple issues. One of which was I did have some data view queries in these daily notes to pull up some you know, metadata like the prior notes and other things and notes I made on those days. But the way that I had those structured meant that it was running incredibly slow and drastically slowing things down because of how those data view queries were not really well optimized. There was also uh, a lot of manual work in the process, especially when I'm doing my reviews, which that might sound good initially, but for what I was trying to get out of all of that, it was not a very beneficial thing for me. It was just another task on my plate, taking up my mental coins, you know, my analogy for all of the mental effort and willpower it takes to overcome executive dysfunction as an autistic person. But I've changed all that. And I rather like the way that I'm doing things now, and maybe you will too. And you'll see something in this that you want to take home in, and put into your vault. Before we check out the daily notes, if you like my t-shirt, because I do, check it out on Into the AM. They have been on my channel several times. I love the quality of their shirts. I love the designs of their shirts. I'm even trying to work with them to get some specific designs. We'll see how that pans out. And overall, true to size, lovely fabric. It doesn't bother my sensitivity issues at all. It just feels great. I think it looks cool. And they're also having bundle deals and savings right now. You can use the code that'll be here in the pinned comment or the video description, all the places, and get 10% off of your order. And they're also doing bundles. So you could get like three t-shirts for 60, 62 something dollars. It's a great deal for a lot of their really cool products. Check them out. You might like them too into the AM. So how did I change my daily notes? Now what I'm going to show you are some of my actual real life notes, but I can't show you all of them because obviously there's some personal stuff in there, but I figure it's the best example of what it actually looks like in real life. So checking it out. This is an example of my daily note. Now you probably already know that I heavily use the calendar. It helps me keep track of the daily notes that I have and haven't made as well as my weekly notes. But on top of that, I actually do weekly, monthly, and annual reviews of all of this stuff, where I pull out the highlights and I review things and look back at the time that I've spent. So on my daily note, this is really zoomed out. So I have obviously the properties. You don't need to pay attention to too much of this. This is just mood tracking, whether I've been practicing the foreign languages that I practiced, if I read that day. Um, if it's a day that has something very special happening on it, like I got promoted, um, which I did recently, it would go here in the aliases, and I'll show you why later. No tags. I don't do any tags for daily notes. Shocking, I know. But what I do have on this daily note template is a data view query that is dynamically filled with, um, actually this doesn't even pull anything from templater to like hard code the name of the day. This works for any file that I just plop it in in my daily notes. So basically from daily notes, show me this exact day every year that I have a daily note for it. So you can see that in May, I go back another two years and I can actually go and look at those notes. So this is an awesome, this is an awesome query. If I made notes on this particular day, then it will actually show me here. And again, this is set up so that I don't need to hard code any portion of this. It's just bam. So that way it never gets stale. It is not anything I have to program or deal with templater at all for this. This is all just data view. And then finally is uh, these links, which are in the daily note template, dynamically generated via, yes, templater. But if I actually show you my daily note template for that stuff, you can see that it is the date now based on the file title. So no matter when I create the daily note from the calendar, it will create the breadcrumbs for the previous and next days. So even if I'm like three days ahead and I have to go back and make a note from three days ago and finally catch up, unlike the issue I was having before, I don't have to worry about ch manually changing these dates. They, it's just always based on the name of the note itself. 
and you can ignore these. These are mostly just reminders for me. So then we get into the actual content. There isn't much content in for this day because I don't want to show off too much personal stuff from my journal, but the major dramatic thing that I'm doing differently is that I'm not doing manual reviews anymore and typing up a summary every week. Now, some might see the value in that practice. To me, it just became another task that I didn't want to do. And rather, I'm doing something different in the end. But for now, what I'm doing is I am actually defining a custom uh, inline data view YAML tag thing. I don't know how exactly we classify these. It's basically treated as YAML metadata, but for data view. And it's just called highlights. And so because of the way data view works is I can just list off multiple lines with highlights in it. And if I actually insert the name of a template, which is in my case highlight, it just inserts that content with a placeholder for my cursor with templater, and bam, I can start typing a new highlight. And so what this lets me do is write out these highlights of things that I enjoyed that day or notable events of a day, like, hey, oh, the electricians arrived and got all the stuff in the garage done, yada, 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 I was excited about that. It's a highlight, nice. And so this is just my daily notes. I just type out my daily notes and we're done. Now, every week I make a weekly note and I don't have the creation of it automated yet. I don't really care at this point because it's just easy to click it and then I'm done. Um, but what this will do, and this corresponds with this daily note, is that opening this up, here's the weekly review. I don't need this comment. I just leave those in, I think, for my template vault. Same thing. These are dynamically generated based on the name of the note, but then it aggregates the highlights for all of the days in this particular week. Again, using a query that is dynamic based on the name of the file, not on anything hard-coded dropped in by Templater. So give me a table of the highlights from all of my daily notes where the highlights do in fact exist, they're not null, and the, the year matches the year of this particular note, and the week of that year matches the week of this year, and then sort it by the day. And that's how I get this summary of this week. That's really handy for at the end of the week, or when I create a new weekly note, just review the prior week, what happened. And it's a great way, because I can just read this and then I'm done. I don't have to type up anything. I don't have to change it. And it's just the highlights are the highlights and I review it. And then finally, the monthly, not finally, but the monthly review, again, corresponding with the week that is also included in this one, um, again, just some stuff that I track for my own personal interest. I read a book, I made a Goodreads review, I contributed to my Roth IRA, I did a YouTube collaboration, I went to an event, and I did a social outing or something. Whatever. Um, again, dynamically generated, but here in the monthly note is where I have a query for aliases. So anything from journal, which is all my daily notes and weekly notes basically, but whatever, uh, daily notes where aliases are not null, so an alias exists within a note inside of the journal folder where the length of the alias is greater than one. Um, so sometimes the, the field is null, but it has like a dash or something with some of the way that data view manages stuff. So this actually says like where it's greater than one because it doesn't allow that character to just say, oh, you have something. And the file.day.year, so the year of that note is the year of this note and the date format matches um, uh, this month or whatever. So this is ultimately grabbing every single alias for every note that falls within this month. And you can see for this one, I only had one, which was on that day I actually interviewed for my promotion. Now going through the monthly note, you could see that there's a bunch of stuff here that each week all of the highlights from that week all get aggregated and grouped by the week, not the day anymore. And so at the same way, I can just read at the end of the month an entire monthly summary of the now completed month that I've gone through. So table without ID, the file by, uh, so that's by the week of the year. So it just gives me the number of the week and then the highlights, everything from journal, the daily journal where highlights aren't null, it's the same year, it's the same month, and sort it by the day, which really just sorts it by the week. But in this way, I'm able to see all of the different weeks for that month lined up in all of the highlights for that month. And then finally, the big one, the yearly review. I don't have to do any of this manually. 
this is all rolled up. Everything after the daily note, other than just creating the notes themselves that already have these queries, I'm done. All I have to do is do my daily journal. And so, um, again, dynamically generated uh, breadcrumbs, but then this aggregates a list of aliases for the entire year so I can see at a glance the biggest, most notable events that happened that year for me based on it being in this year. And then for every month, every week in that month, all of the highlights for every week, for every month. And you can see this starts at March because I didn't actually start this until March this year, but I need to go retroactively and I'm just gonna start 2023 entirely with this new system. But this is how I do my review. So now at the end of this year, I can read this entire summary note and do a review of my entire year and see how my year went. Did I have a lot of good things? And it should be notable that I usually only talk about the best things or the good things in this note because I, I want to have a nice, good, rosy look back of what the year entailed and enjoy the positives. So this whole review system is just grabbing the positive highlights from every day, week, month, ultimately into the year so that by the end of the year, I can look back and see all of the awesome things that happened in that year. So ultimately, you might be asking, why are you going to all this effort to do all this kind of stuff? if you are asking that question. And my answer is pretty simplistic. Life moves fast and a lot of us don't have really great memory. And I wanna remember a lot of the great things that happened and be reminded and like, oh wow, that yeah, that was a great time that I had. Or I really wanna do that again. I'm reminded about it now. But also the days are long and the years are short. I wanna be able to look back and remember a lot of the great things that I did. And this facilitates that with very little effort. I just write my daily journal, list out some highlights, and by the end of the year, I have a long list of awesome things to read and remind me of all the good times. So maybe there's something in there that you might want to take away, put into your vault, or put into practice. Have at it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do anything different. If you have any ideas for me, leave those in the comments, but let me know your thoughts. Hey, and if you like the shirt, check it out. Into the AM. All right, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.